morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 8, I believe. I hope it's number 8. I have no idea what day of the week it is today because I've woken up with the most horrible headache. But, so so. I've got the fire lit. Mr. Blobby is in situ, as per usual. I've just done the hoovering with our hoover that looks like I stole it off Mrs. Doubtfire. But, just so you know, if anyone in the UK is having issues with their Dysons or their irritating Henry Hoovers that seem to throw a tantrum and get attached to every single corner, wall and everything else in your house. Um, I can't highly recommend, it's a really ugly angle, um, having a SIBO branded Hoover, which is S-E-B-O. They are a German company and they are the only Hoovers that don't seem to give you any problems. Um, so that's that. I am just about to make myself another cup of tea because I need to take some headache tablets. Um, and then I'm gonna hopefully try and get myself into some sort of swing of things so I can actually get something done today. Um, husband has just rung me and said that he is finished with work. He's driving back to the depot because he's covering a shift from uh, Salisbury all week this week. So he's quite far away. But funnily enough, the route that he has to cover for Salisbury is actually closer to home than where we work on a normal day. So um, he will be home shortly, although he has um, offered to go food shopping on the way home because I was supposed to get up early this morning and do it, but I just really don't feel like leaving the house today. Um, so I've sent him a list of things. I don't even know if the list makes any sense. We're probably gonna end up with the weirdest food shopping coming home that we're not gonna be able to make, well, I said we're not gonna be able to make anything with. I will make something with it, whether it's something that's it will be edible, but whether it's something that you'd actually want to eat, looking at it, it'll be another question. But, um, we shall see. I will catch up with you in a bit, once I've had a cup of tea and some tablets, and try to make my head sort of whir in the right direction. Bye. So, I am back in my sewing room. If you can hear the TV in the background, that is Stacey J from Stacey J's studio. She is talking to me while I keep busy, um, and I just thought I would just quickly spin the camera around and let you see what I'm up to. So I'm currently working on a custom order, which is this beautiful caddy, which has got the uh, Nightshade Deja V faces on it, a spider blossom outside. Um, I've just put the lady's face on this pocket with a nice pink zip and the oil slick slider. Matches my scissors. And then this end, I have just put on my new label, which is one of my um, leather labels. And I've put on some of the new ribbon that they got delivered yesterday in this new range, which is hung up here. So I'm going to crack on with this. Hopefully I will get it done by the end of today, which means that I can ship it to the lovely lady that's ordered it tomorrow. And then I am hopefully going to be able to work on a few more caddies this week because I want to get a few more on my website just before Christmas, if physically possible. Um, yeah, so I'll catch up with you in a bit. So even though today is not a Beyond the Pink Door advent calendar open day, it is a Beyond the Pink Door parcel open day. So what's in the box on day eight? No, I'm joking. Um, so I ordered this on the last live sale. And I'm so damn glad I did because it sold out within about 10 seconds after I pressed confirm on the order. Um, I do love a pink bag. I turn these, I tell you what, I turn these inside out and keep them because, just an FYI, they are the perfect size to line a little um, waste paper basket with. This one isn't, this has got a bin liner in it. But that's because I've run out because I haven't had enough parcels. Mm. Um, so yeah, if you get a lot of parcels and you can keep them in some sort of condition that you can reuse them as bin liners, every little helps. Um, I just love these stickers. Oh. it's the little details that make such a difference thank you andrew um so this is this is absolutely gorgeous this this is even nicer than i thought it was gonna be <laughs> um so this is a cable knit 
sweatshirt fabric, well, jumper fabric, sweatshirt fabric, whatever you want to call it. It's not picking it up very well on the um, camera, but it's this beautiful, beautiful plum colour. Oh, so I think I might just have to keep this as a blanket because my land, it is so comfy. Um, so this is going to become... Which, you know, I bought it to be a pogo nip, and now I don't know whether I actually want it to be a pogo nip or not. I think what I might do is use the Jai, Jali, Jali, however you want to pronounce it. I'm sure I've got an oversized sweatshirt pattern by them that I think I might have made before. Or maybe it was LB Textiles. I'm not sure, but it's going to be a big, slobby, oversized, lumpy, jumpy jumper, because I... Seem to live in them, and as most of you know, I live in the grey one that I've got, which is made from a that's made from a jacquard cable knit. And as lovely as that jumper is, and as warm as it is, and as cozy as it is, the only thing that I don't particularly like about the jacquard knits, if you tumble dry them, the inside of them for some reason goes like cobweb. So when you put your head in it, well, when you put it over your head to get into it, it does feel a little bit like you're doing a bush tucker trial and I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, because it does feel like spider web. But to be honest, I've got used to it now. And it's only one you initially put it on the first time after you've washed it, and then it doesn't do it ever again until you wash it the next time. And it does get better over time. So I think the, the, the easy solution to the problem would be is just don't tumble dry them, just hang dry them. Easy. So um, I'm going to get this pre-washed. And I'm probably going to make something out of it pretty soon. So I'll catch up in a bit. So just quickly again, I'll just keep coming in and out, in and out, in and out today. It's as the, video, the whole video is going to be, I think. Um, if you have some scissors, I have these enormous black things. Um, these were £10 off Amazon and they have been the best prices I think I've ever owned. And they, I've had them about three years. And I cut zips with them. I cut all sorts with them. Anywho, if you have a pair of these, inside the hinge there, right there, underneath where it says number 10, pop a drop of sewing machine oil. It will change your life. And wipe them over with the microfiber cloth. I have no resistance now whatsoever. Whereas before I was going, ah, 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 trying to get through them. So guys, that's pretty much it for me today for Friday Sews and for Vlogmas Day 8. I have got this far on the caddy that I'm doing at the moment, which is a custom order for a lovely lady that contacted me um, a little while ago. Um, I have incorporated some of the new Tudor ribbon into the end pocket here and put my label on. Um, I've just got to do the binding for the whole of the outside and then just finish the sleeve insert for the acrylic base that goes into the bottom. Um, and then it will be done ready for posting out tomorrow, hopefully. Um, so I will catch up with you all soon. Well, I'll catch up with you all tomorrow on Vlogmas Day 9, which is when we get to open another Beyond the Pink Door present. So I will see you soon. Bye for now.